Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to user one productions my name is David and in today's quick little video on YouTube we're going over a low poly asset pack number two by me our first one can be found linked in the description and it is also being showcased on your screen right now that's more interior stuff and now we're gonna be actually creating the exterior type stuff just like before these models are pretty simple and all they're used for is either a prototyping your game so you don't have to get all the big and powerful assets in there right away or they're all free to use so you can use them for a low poly game if that's your preference for your current game so what we actually have in this pack is some exterior stuff for your game like i said either for prototyping or you can use this in your game I'm actually currently using this in my game, which is called Earth's Final Hope. It is a top-down shooter where aliens are taking over the world, and you are the final hope for Earth. And all of those models I'm going to be using in my game, just because it fits the style of what I'm going for, a kind of cartoony type top-down shooter. Actually, looking at the models in the game, you can actually see I've added lights to them, so like certain cars will have illuminations on the headlights as well as the brake lights and then just overall lighting of the scene you can actually do a lot with these very simple low poly models i didn't use every single one inside of my game just because i didn't need them all but they are here if i really needed them in the future before we actually go through what is in this asset pack you can kind of see it all right now but i'll go in a little more detail uh this is 100 percent free there's no copyright on it i have all of my scripts models sound effects whatever i use on this channel on a Google Drive linked in the description for a free download. And all I'm gonna ask in return is for you guys to show me your support. So please remember to drop me a like, subscribe, click the notification bell if you are new and do enjoy this type of content. My name is David, I do tutorials as well as I do some 3D modeling work for you guys to use in your games. And if you guys haven't already, please remember to join our Discord that is also linked in the description. It has myself and I believe we are about to hit 250 people in there and it is such a nice community. Everyone is there for one reason and one reason only, that is to not only help each other, but to learn from others. It's an incredible little community we're growing, and I thank you all so much for that. And with that, we're also closing in on 2,000 subscribers. I can't wait for that milestone. You guys are awesome. You guys have been killing it lately with the views and the subs and the likes. I really appreciate it. Back to this low poly asset pack. Let's actually go through real quick and actually see what we're doing here. And then I'll actually show you guys how you can actually improve some of these models for yourself. Uh, it's just a very simple shader that we can use. So let's actually look through this pack real quick. We have some city buildings, very generic colors. They can be swapped up. We have four, you know, kind of skyscraper-ish type places. And then we have three normal houses there on the left. Looking at the trees, I have a white, orange, and a green. This is kind of for fall, winter, spring. It's like every season. And, you know, they're very simple models, but we'll get to how to make them a little bit better in a second here. A bunch of different sizes and shapes to suit your needs of where you're going to need them. Say you're making a forest, you need to have variation in them. Uh, that's why there's five separate ones for each color. Getting to the first row here, we have three different barrels. We also have garbage cans and then a couple of cars. Um, they are mostly the same. I just changed the colors up on them. Uh, obviously, you can change colors to whatever you need. As you can see here, we have a police car. And right here we have a helicopter as well as another helicopter, which is more of like a police one because it's white and black. Backing up a little bit, you see we have a water tower, a little fence, we have a stop sign. And right down here, it's very hard to see, but it's a nice little detail to throw in around. We have a flower as well as a little bit blade of grass. We have two size bushes, two size kind of rocks. You can size these up or down or wherever you need uh, to suit your needs, really. Right now, I just kind of have them as boulders, uh, and in my current game, they are just background props. We do have this helipad, so if you need a helipad on the ground or on top of one of the skyscrapers, you could. We also have a cone right here to go in front of the road, which is a road asset I've created. Uh, it's not the greatest one, but you can copy and paste them around, and it makes a pretty seamless um, road right here. So you can do that as many times as you want, and we're already starting to get a road together. Okay, and now how do you actually make these models look a tad bit better for your game? For a lot of games, you don't really want to see every polygon unless you are going that, you know, really low poly look, uh, which is a great style nowadays, and it really does get the job done for a lot of games. A lot of games are doing that now, and it makes them very successful. But now to take it one more step further, if we actually were to grab, say, uh, let's go one of these trees real quick. Say these ones right here are too blocky for you. For one, what you can do... You go to tools, you can smooth it. 
and that's going to add a smooth type shader to it. Let's put it back to flat real quick. If we go to modifiers tab, there is subdivision surface. Now, once we click it, it's going to kind of smooth every edge and kind of give us a better shape here. We can actually change the subdivisions to say two. And now we have a really rounded off tree. If you go to tab to edit it, you can actually move this down a tad like this. And then smooth it from the tools tab. And now we have a smooth round tree. And you could do that with any one of these trees. Say this one with the, the double leaves right here. Subdivide. Smooth. And now it looks smoother. And that's how you would accomplish that look. Going back to my game here, you can actually see I did that with quite a lot of these models. The cars are a little smoothed over. The cones are smoother. So just adding that little extra modifier and uh, smoothing them, you can actually start making these low poly assets look a little more stylized for your game. And as I said before, those big boulders, you can see them in the background here. I'm even using these water towers as a background model. Just because my camera is facing down like this on my player. And as we walk, this is where the camera is going to stay looking down. Uh, as you can see, the models work perfectly for my style and art choice for the game. And uh, this is kind of how I created the city. I just made some very generic little models, add a subdivide modifier to them, smooth them over, and then just place them around the scene, change up the colors a little bit, added some good lighting to the scene. And that is how we accomplished this look here for my specific game. Now, obviously, these models will work in any situation, whether it's first person, third person, top down like this. It's all just based on you and your stylistic decisions. And I think that's where I'm going to end this quick little video, my friends. If you did come to enjoy this video, like I said, like, subscribe, join our Discord. Everything is linked in the description on a Google Drive for a free download. I do have plans to be making more of these low poly asset packs, but I need you guys' feedback. If you guys are enjoying these type of videos where I give them out for free, uh, let me know in the comments and I will continue to make them for you guys. I will do anything for you guys as long as the demand for the video and content is there. With all that being said, my friends, this is User1 Productions signing off for now. Peace.